Oh, it smells awesome. <laughs> it smells great. Just gonna show you this situation. You could say we're completely redoing the house at this point. We have a roof, partially. It's better to do things right from the get-go and to not put things off that could become issues later on. Our water pump burnt out because it was running, but there wasn't enough water. Here comes the fire department with some water for us. We have started clearing more of the land from the hotel going down the hill towards the river. Well guys, hello, hello, welcome to another video. Sitting here on the deck and we are on a roll with the inopportune filming times because <laughs> there is another storm brewing in case you cannot hear the thunder and the rumbling in the background. But well, I thought I would sit down and kind of catch you up on what you're going to be seeing in this week's video because it was just one of those busy, chaotic weeks where I filmed bits and pieces here and there. But well, there's a lot to catch you up on. So first of all, let's start with the water situation. The water woes we have been experiencing because in spite of the rain we have been getting, uh, we're out of water. <laughs> Let me explain. Well guys, we're in the woods. I'm waiting for Sam to meet me over here and we're gonna walk down to one of our three wells because it appears we may have run out of water. This has been a little bit of an issue in the town over the last couple of weeks uh, because we have not had the rain we need this time of year. So the wells have been quite low and today our workers were using a lot of water to like mix the concrete and all that. They told me they need about four to 500 liters of water per day over the coming days. And I think we may have exceeded our limit. So Sam's gonna meet me, we're gonna walk down and we're gonna have a little look-see. So what are we doing? We're checking if there's any water in the well. Oh. That's the well. All right, Audrey, what's the update? <laughs> the update, we've got a flashlight and we're gonna see what is the situation. Oh, this is a deep well. Yeah? There is some water way down below, but is the, is the hose reaching that, you know? Maybe we'll drop some pebbles. Oh, I have one. Another day, another delivery day. Lots of deliveries this week. More sand, more gravel, the materials for the roof, the tiles at long last. And the fire department is coming because we are officially out of water. Busy, busy. Oh my poor trees, we fall this out of all this. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. All right, guys. So since we have the delivery, I thought it would be a good time to show you the the metal sheets, shall we say, our, our roof is going to be metal because of the hail that we get in this area. Now, when this was first delivered, I was like, oh my gosh, have they sent up the wrong color because it kind of looked purple. But it's the protective plastic layer over top that's giving it a very different color. But really, once we peel that back, it's going to be a, a terracotta, like, um, like it's going to mimic a colonial tile, essentially. So that sort of color. I'm just gonna peel it a little bit back. So you can sort of see the color there. Like a like an orangey reddish brown sort of. Um, so if you look at the house back over there, that has colonial tiles. So that's kind of the, the idea to try and match the, the architectures so the buildings don't look completely disconnected. So even though we're going for more modern materials, um, we're trying to keep with the style of the area. And then these ones are called the cumbreras, and this is going to go 
um, I guess where the the two like where the roofs meet because we've got an angle so yeah there we go look at you little puppies oh muy bien muy bien vamos caminen caminen oh qué lindo que están qué lindos que están muy bien vamos a seguir caminando por acá So my roofer has two puppies that he just got a few days ago. So they're coming to work with him and just hanging out in the car. So I'm taking them for a little walk, a little pee break, because, well, they were crying. They're little. At least they have each other, right? Oh. Here comes the fire department with some water for us. Here we go. Hola, adelante. Ah, bajando y hacia la izquierda van a ver el tanque. So I don't know how well I've explained this or not. Maybe I haven't even filmed this. Um, but basically the deal is we have not been getting a lot of rain this summer. Summer is the rainy season. So the wells have been kind of low and we've also just been consuming a lot of water because we're currently building and renovating houses. So we're consuming an estimated 400 to 500 liters of water a day which is more than what our well can replenish overnight. Um, so it got to the point where our water pump burnt out because it was running, but there wasn't enough water. So basically our pump is burnt. We have to pull it out of the well, take it into town, get it repaired. And in the meantime, we've had to call the fire department over and they have come with one of their big trucks to fill up our our giant water tank that I've also been filming there. Um, so yeah, we've got two of the, the firefighters here filling up that tank. They had to climb to the top with this big hose. And of course, this service is on free of charge. I do have to pay. It's going to be 19,000 pesos. I have to do the, the conversion into dollars for you guys somewhere here on the screen. And yes, that is the update this afternoon. All righty, so now let's talk about the current state of things with the renovation. There's a lot to do. There's a lot more to do than we originally intended, than we originally planned. But the thing is, it's better to do things right from the get-go and to not put things off that could become issues later on. So yes, we are doing more to the house than we originally planned. And that means that this renovation is taking a little bit longer. But I think at the end of the day, we're going to have a higher level of comfort once we are all moved into the house and we won't be worrying in the back of our minds like, oh my gosh, does this need to be replaced next year? Is this going to break? Like that sort of thing. So some of the stuff that we're doing, dealing with the humidity in the house, we are installing radiators for heating. We decided to lift the flooring in the whole house, just putting in new floors. Um, completely redoing the bathroom, completely redoing the kitchen. You could say we're completely redoing the house at this point, but yes, that, that is the situation. Also, we have had a lot of rain this week, which has slowed down the progress with the roof. I thought I would have a new roof to show you in this week's video, but no, we've, we've still only got a partial roof and yeah, that is, we are being held back by the weather. As you can see, it is raining again. But well, that is the current situation.
at me, lavender slicing expert, harvesting expert. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells awesome. <laughs> it smells great. Alrighty, have you found a new career? Hey, I might, I may have. Look at these pristine bundles, guys. Does it get better than this? I'm sure it does, actually. But it's not bad for my first try. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little tour. Today we are helping harvest lavender. They have beautiful, beautiful fields. We've been harvesting the ones that are two year, two years old, the two year old bushes. These will be for other guests. To the harvest. Three year old ones are to make essential oils. Oh. Yeah, they do look bigger now that I, now that I think about it. And the views are amazing. Mountains all around. There's mountain ranges in all directions. Like the vantage point up here is incredible. We also have some other friends that live up this hill, and it's like, man. Uno, dos, tres, whiskey! We have a spectacular sunset that does, it does not look real. It doesn't look real, so I mean the clouds up here, this is the best view in town. And we got some Molbeck too from Cafajate. Wow. Look at that, they're just glowing. So in between all the renovation work and all the chaos of construction currently going on on the property, we've also been doing some socializing. If you watched our, our last video of some culture shocks in Argentina, culture shocks about life in Argentina, is that people are very sociable. They get together a lot, they go out a lot. And this week, one of our outings was to help some friends harvest lavender. They've got like a little lavender farm. Um, so they invited some friends and they turned it into a barbecue. It was a lot of fun. There was also dancing later in the evening. We learned to dance. We learned to dance cumbia and cuarteto. Didn't film the dancing, um, but it was it was a good time. We got home, I think, close to midnight and yeah, just went to bed exhausted. But yeah, we've been having fun at meeting more new people around town and that sort of thing. So yeah, really enjoying the social aspect of living in a small little town in the mountains. Well, friends, we are inside the chalet and ah, we have a roof partially. This is, this is crazy. This is one of those days where I didn't come because I had things that I just needed to get done and like so much progress <laughs> was made. This is, this is unbelievable. Like I was here all day yesterday and we, we did not have a roof. Like we just had the main beams. Um, there was still like one more room that needed to be cleared. Like we still, we still had a bathroom. Now it's been like completely gutted. So I guess I'm gonna give you a tour because there is a lot to catch you up on. My goodness. That's the crazy thing about construction. Like sometimes it feels like things are going so slow. Like you feel like you're not seeing enough progress. And then in one day, everything just falls into place. Boom, boom, boom. And voila. So, okay, let's begin. I'm gonna take you, it's also raining, so a little tricky filming, but let's go to the main entrance. We're gonna start this tour. Front door, we are going to enter the house. There is no roof in this section yet. I'm gonna turn you around. 
show you the kitchen. It has rained inside the kitchen as you can see, but check that out. Partial roof has gone up. Isn't that looking nice? The walls are also being completed, like all that fresh uh, concrete that you see there, that cement. Uh, we had to raise the height of the walls. So next I'll bring you into the living dining area. Looking up, got a roof on one side. So this is the machimbre. This is the wood, it is pine. This is what's being installed. And it has like a, like a lip and a groove and you just kind of like lock them into place, you know? Wow. This is gonna look so different. Floor is also coming off. These are the, the floor tiles. I love the floors that like they're in such rough shape. Um, is that hail? My gosh. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to reuse them. I really wanted to reuse them, but so this is them on the, on the back side. I was told they were like glued down with, it looks like tar and rock, like pebbles, gravel. This is them on the other side. Initially, we thought it was like individual pieces, like the little squares and rectangles. We thought it was kind of like a little puzzle piece but they are tiles, um, so we'll see, like, I mean, I don't even know. I don't know if we're going to be able to use them in the chalet or if we'll save them for, for the hotel. Like, there's a space that I have in mind that we might be able to make it work. Uh, so that's the situation with the floor. It is coming off, and then I'll take you into the bathroom. So everything has been taken out. We used to have the toilet, the bidet, bathtub, and lavatory. This is an old system, an old flushing system we had where the tank was in the wall, the water tank. We are not going to keep that old system because if you ever have any trouble, like you'll have water leaking inside the walls, like if a pipe bursts or there's a problem with the tank, it's a little tricky. So we're gonna get a more modern toilet that has the, I don't know, in Spanish they call it mochila, the, the water tank in the back, but mochila means backpack, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, that's the plan with the bathroom. As you can see, the original ceiling is being removed. Those dark beams are coming off and we're going to have a much higher ceiling that's going to be pine. So it's going to look a lot lighter. I've also been toying with the idea of having um, skylights, like the windows that you have in the roof. I think it would really brighten up the space and just, you know, more light. It's nice having natural light but I'm also worried about water coming into the house just because that's been the experience with this chalet, but obviously it had a very old roof. I think if we put in a, a new modern skylight and like sealed everything properly, did it right, it wouldn't be an issue. But anyway, the roofer was telling me if I do decide to put in a skylight, like that's kind of at, at the very end. It's not like he's going to install it now, like he would do the whole roof with like the metal sheeting and then he would be like, okay, where do you want it? We cut around. That's kind of the gist of it. So I'll take you into this bedroom. So this would be the master, shall we say, uh, where we do have a roof. They brought in the, the machimbre so it does not get wet. This all had to be varnished and then once it's installed they have to put the insecticide so that we won't have any problems with like termites or any sort of creatures insects that like munching on wood yeah that is the update guys 
I'll, I'll really have to come here tomorrow. We'll come over here and see how they progress. I would love to show you how they do the installation. Um, so yeah. And it is raining. Like Sam and I came here with the intention of like filming and he wanted to do some gardening work and it just started pouring rain. So I'm not sure how, how long we're going to stay. Maybe wait it out because we need to walk back. We do not have a car. So yes, that is the update. So I'll talk about this room briefly while we're in here. This room is off of the kitchen and it's a bit of a strange room because it had a toilet. It had like a deep wash sink, like a laundry sink. It has the, the water heater, um, but it was also kind of being used as a pantry and like storage area. There were tools here, uh, just like really, really random. Oh my gosh, where's that water coming from? Oh. Do you guys, do you guys see that? Okay, we will deal with that. Messages are going to be sent. Anyways, let's not get sidetracked. <laughs> let's talk about this room. So it kind of didn't have a specific use. Um, I have decided this should be our laundry room and pantry. So it's not going to be a bathroom anymore. Like this is such a small house. And it's really just intended for like a couple or maybe a couple and two young children. So I don't think you necessarily need two bathrooms, especially in a rural area where it's like, if you really need to pee and the bathroom's in use, go out in the bush, no big deal. Um, what we do need is a laundry area because there's nowhere else to install a washing machine in the house. So. I think it would be good to have a washing machine here. Dryers aren't so common. You typically just air dry outside in the sunshine or like you get one of those hangers. Uh, we can keep maybe the deep sink in case we need to like scrub anything or whatever. And then maybe have some shelving units so that we can store some, some dry goods. So that is the idea right now. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, getting rid of a second bathroom. That's going to like lower the value of your house or whatever. But I'm thinking of practicality and functionality in terms of living here. And what do we really need? I feel like a second bathroom is not essential. So that is what I'm thinking. And yeah. Just gonna show you this situation. It is raining inside the kitchen and there is water leaking out of this tank. Why? Why? Why is the water leaking out of this tank if we're supposedly not connected to the water system? I do not know. I do not know. Alrighty, big changes. Wow, this Ch -ch -ch changes. Is amazing. So they've been really Who's the, they? Who's they? They. So I think it's a crew of three or four young young gentlemen, is that right? Yes. Um they basically know the, the roofer and he set up a job for them and they're gonna really 
expedite the, the clearing process here on the uh, property. In fact, I think we've hired them for, is it three or four hectares? Of work? They're gonna be clearing three hectares for us. Yeah, and so they've done some serious work around the hotel. It's really opened up the space and like, wow, what a difference. Even just like, come look over here, this was all. This was all covered. All covered, come look at this. this yeah, is look, this is, these are the terraces. Wow. So in front of the, the so hotel. This, we can actually see the, we can actually see the, the hotel from here. Oh, let me, let me step over and Look, this turn is the first, first time having the view. Ta-da! Um, foundation still looks decent, though. No? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Look at that, guys. At that. So we have three levels of terraces going down this way that are just overgrown with bush and trees. So that's what we have them working on. Yeah. Wow. Great. I can't wait for them to be clearing downward to the river because yes. what that's going to mean is like I I don't have a I don't have a great estimate of how big the property is because I've only seen this very confined space. But once they start clearing down to the river, I'm going to get a much better understanding of like well, what we've got here. You know? What does seven hectares of land look like? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Happy, pleased with the progress? Yes, it's a, a very good start. They just started, what, yesterday or today? Yeah. Very good start. I mean, it's going to be exciting when, I think we're eventually going to have views of the mountains. <laughs> like, that's what I'm excited for. I want to be able to look from this hotel, terrace here, and to see the... It's at the Sierra's Grandes, right? Yes. Off in the distance. Precisely. So that's the, uh, that's really when it's going to get exciting is when we have a view of the mountains. Yeah. So let's hope for that soon. For now it's bush. Bush. It's all bush. all bush. Okay, so the other news is that we have started clearing more of the land. Thunder! Um, from the hotel going down the hill towards the river in the direction of the mountains. Uh, so that's very exciting. We've got a crew that ranges from two to four people. It depends who comes up. Uh, but yes, we have hired them to clear three hectares worth of land where it's just overgrown with bush and shrubbery and sarsa to the point where we can't even walk through, like we can't access the river or the stream. It's really a stream. Uh, so that's very exciting. Um, they've only just started this week, but we're seeing a lot of progress. Uh, we're going to have lots of wood for, for a long time uh, to feed the wood burning stove because we do want to add a wood burning stove, even though we're going to have radiators for, I don't know, that rustic charm, nostalgia, if you will. So yes, that is happening. It'll be really nice when we can finally show you guys the mountain views and the stream down below where you can actually go swimming. Yes, making progress in that regard. Also, like the idea isn't to like cut everything down and like leave the land barren, no. But there's a lot of vegetation that has grown in areas where it shouldn't be and it's impeding our pass. So we're kind of clearing strategically, just like the bush and the growth. And then once we see what trees are standing, we can pick and choose what stays and what has grown in a place it shouldn't be. Kind of like the acacia trees that are growing in the terraces right in front of the hotel bedrooms. That's not a good place for a tree. Um, if that falls, it falls on top of the hotel. So kind of like there, there is some sort of logic to um, the trees that we're cutting down. And what else can I tell you? This week I went into town to the hardware store and I have started the fun process of selecting flooring and tiles and bathroom fixtures, that sort of thing. So I think probably in next week's video, I'll be showing you a bit more of that and kind of talking you through the process of how we are designing the kitchen, how we're designing the bathroom and that sort of thing. So. I think that is this week's update. That's what we've been up to. I hope you guys enjoyed the little catch up. If you like the video, feel free to give it a like, thumbs up, leave us a little comment. Um, if you have any suggestions for us as we proceed with these renovations and you're also invited to subscribe if you want to follow along and, and see how things progress. 
there's a lot of work ahead, but we're feeling pretty excited, feeling positive, and it'll just be so nice to see the, the final product in a few months, hopefully sooner rather than later. So yeah, that's all for today and ta-ta!